how do we minimize the problems? Well, the corrosion problem, the only thing you can do is, is prevent corrosion. So how do you prevent corrosion? Change your oil often. Um, I, I recommend 25-hour uh, oil changes for people that fly under 250 hours a year and weekly. Um, Continental and Mike Homing uh, both recommend 50-hour oil changes and um, or every three months. I agree with them on the, uh, for the, the three-month bit. But um, in, in talking with the Mike Homing head of engineering, uh, he said the worst thing we ever did was extend the oil change interval from 25 to 50 hours because you cannot, with the addition of a full flow filter, because you cannot filter off the water and the acids that are in the oil with current filter technology. Um, I think it's very, very important that if you have 15, 20 hours on your oil, don't let it sit over the winter time. Change your oil, uh, run the engine, check for leaks, distribute the new oil through the engine, and, and if you're going to let it sit, let it sit with clean oil in it, not dirty oil. Um, any water that is in the oil will start collecting the organic acids from the blow-by fuel. Blow-by fuel um, oxi is oxidized fuel, um, or the reactive stuff is oxidized. Once it becomes, uh, once you insert an oxygen atom into the uh, molecule, it becomes acidic, um, and the second oxygen becomes a carboxylic acid, which is related to, to vinegar, acetic acid, and that's a, that's a strong organic acid, and combined with a small amount of water will start pit, these pitting reactions, pitting rust. Um, I, I'm a big proponent of corrosion inhibiting wells or additives such as CamGuard to prevent this rust. And remember that no additive you can put in can cure the effects of, of rust. I mean, there aren't any additives that, that rebuild your cylinder, rebuild your piston, rings, and whatnot. And then we have um, deposits. And sticky parts lead to excessive wear in the rings, um, valve guides. Again, it's the fuel components from the, the blow by that causes all these problems. So I'm a big believer leaning very aggressively on the ground and to make sure you don't try to take off with your engine lean. You lean so severely that if you happen to push the throttle and take off, your engine will stumble. And then you realize, oh, no, which is the next turn. Okay. Um, I am a big proponent of multi-probe engine analyzers because they allow you to, to observe what's going on in your engine and lean more aggressively and completely and do it properly to avoid problems. If anyone cares to have the lean of people to take the bait, come over to my booth. Glad to have it with you. Again, um, actually the only uh, additive, the only product, lubricant product that does prevent um, deposits is handguard. 